Hi, my name is Monica, um, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience doing Maximo Nivel. Um, I, it is a Spanish immersion program or a Spanish school um, in a couple of South American countries as well as in Florida. Um, I did a program for two weeks in Cusco, Peru. Um, I chose to stay with the host family, um, and I did half. Spanish class and half travel so that was where I went and saw some of the the natural um, monuments and things that uh, Cusco has to offer which is quite a bit um, for my classes I, sh I signed up for two hours of a group lesson which ended up just being me and another girl um, and then I also did private lessons um, and then the next week I went to some of the landmarks like Machu Picchu and the salt mines. Um, I did dirt biking and, and horses. It was really cool. Um, so I, I chose to sign up when I did it um, for, let's see, um, a single room um, because I wanted my, to have my own space. So I did have to pay a bit more for that. But to kind of go back. Um, I chose this program because I was just looking for somewhere to travel. I was going to go to Africa, but that trip didn't quite go through. I, I backed out. Um, I, I was a little bit unsure with the finances and some personal stuff, so I chose not to go. Um, part of me regrets it a little because that would have been incredible, but, you know, maybe next time. Um, let's see. Um, so I, when I went on their website, they had a lot of options or when I went on Google they had a lot of options but I found that Maximo Nivelle their, their website looked professional um, they actually had their prices posted there which I thought was promising they weren't gonna just quote me whatever um, they thought they could get um, and they actually had a live chat person on there so they actually answered my questions and they gave me a quote um, basically calculating everything for me um, even though the prices were there um, I had some additional questions, so they actually set up a Zoom meeting for me. I think it was the next day, so I could chat with them about things that I was concerned about. Um, I, I thought I had seen something about protests, um, and that might have been in Lima. I'm not sure, but I, I wanted to make sure that everything was okay before I went, because um, at the time, I think I booked it about a month and a half out, or maybe even less. Um, and they were able to get everything together really quickly. It was super organized um, and the the process of me getting in there um, and getting into the program um, was, was very easy. I'm also an American citizen so I didn't have to do a visa um, but there was other processes um, that were pretty straightforward. I just needed to print some forms um, so when I got there, I got picked up by a driver I paid a little bit extra for, which I think was probably like $20. It was probably more expensive than a local taxi, but I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly where I was going, um, and I, you know, had someone who was connected to the program take me. Um, the taxi driver, he pretty much immediately started speaking in Spanish, which was a bit difficult but you know I, I do speak some Spanish I took about three years um, throughout my high school education and I've traveled to um, Ecuador before um, and so when I got to my host family's um, house um, they were very welcoming they made me dinner when I got there just a light soup I think um, all the meals that they made were very healthy um, the breakfast and dinner were included as part of the program, which made things really easy. Um, and those were also an opportunity to kind of meet some of my roommates. Um, one of my roommates in particular is pretty awesome. Um, and also just practice Spanish because they, they were willing to sit there uh, with me stumbling through sentences or, and they would repeat themselves and, you know, ask about our days. It, it felt like we had an ho a home base. Um, and both of my host family or host parents were, were really really warm people so um, yeah I had a great time I also bought a rug there and we had a bit la a bit of a laugh because I think I spent too much on it but I love that rug so you know it's one of those things um, some of the fun things that I did 
Um, I, I went to some vegan restaurants with some classmates, friends, um, so that was pretty cool. Um, we went to a few restaurants. All of those restaurants were seemed to be way more expensive than the ones that the, the locals went to. Um, and so, yeah, but still fun. Um, I also went clubbing with my, my host brother and his friends who were from Germany. Um, the club we went to was full of foreigners, so I'm not sure if we got the, the local experience per se, but it was, it was still really enjoyable, so we'd definitely do again. Um, for me, this experience was a cleanse. It was my first time going out of the country since um, before COVID, um, and yeah, I hadn't traveled alone for a really long time, so that was, it was just a good experience. Um, I find that being back at home that I, within my small circle, um, I tend to socialize a lot, whether it be going to the gym or spending time with my boyfriend. Um, I'm, I'm just not home very much and I don't really have much time to just sit there and think and do nothing, um, which is not how you have to spend your, your program if you do it. But um, for parts of the time I was just sitting and relaxing, there was no one to call, um, you know, during those time zones, so I just relaxed, or I could read, or, or think, or write, and that was just, it was, it was a good experience for me, and also socializing with people that I didn't know well, um, that's something that makes me a little nervous sometimes, so I got some good practice, um, and especially if I had to do it in another language, um, that was, that was good practice too, um, so I would definitely do it again, I'm, thinking next year um, I might do Guatemala um, although Africa would be pretty cool so I will think about that but um, if anybody's thinking about trying out Maximo Nivel um, I think it's worth doing um, there's economical ways to doing it um, yeah so check it out if you want